Hello, it's Daryl again. Um, in this video, I'm just going to do something that I haven't done before. I'm going to tell you where you should visit in Auckland if you just go there for a holiday or a vacation. Now, you might you might fly into the airport. Now, you might stay... If you come to New Zealand and you do a tour around, you, you might get a rental car and drive around. But uh, on your first day, if you arrive in Auckland and you stay in a hotel... Um, you might want to spend, like if you come from the other side of the world, you'll be from a totally different time zone and you'll be real tired. So don't get a rental car on your first day. That's super dangerous. Spend a night or two in a hotel in Auckland and get accustomed to the time zone and then pick up your rental car and go for your driving vacation or holiday or whatever. Um, so when you come into Auckland Airport, so Auckland is very interesting because it's between the two seas. You have um, the Tasman Sea on one side and the Pacific Ocean on the other side, and the city spans the gap between the islands. The skinniest part of New Zealand is actually really near Auckland Airport, where this part here, um, Otahuhu, the you have the Tasman Sea on one side and the Pacific Ocean on the other side, <laughs> relatively. Um, just, just, a, it's just, just an interesting point of view. That's things that I find interesting. So anyway, when you arrive, you'll arrive at um, Auckland Airport, and you can get a taxi to the city. But of course, the cheapest way to get to the middle of the city is to take a bus. But you could take a, um, you know, whatever you call it, a Uber or something like that as well. Um, you'll come in, you'll. You'll land here on the airport runway and you'll be in this big building and then there's a concourse out here where the road goes through. That's where you get your ride from. But but just on this corner is where the bus stops from, from memory. Last time I was there, the, the bus depot is here where you can catch a bus to the city. The bus to the city has a, there's a special airport bus surface and it's, it's a big bus that's got um, spaces for luggage and stuff like that. Anyway, um, if you drive into the city... Uh, in a bus or a car, you'll you'll go up you'll go up this highway. This is called Highway Twenty. When you drive, you, oh, if you pick up a rental car, just by the way, um, you, the rental cars are around here. Um, this these and if I fly domestic. If usually um, if I travel in New Zealand, um, the rental car companies are in this building right here. That's a car parking building. But around here is where the rental cars are. Anyhow. Some rental cars will pick you up and they'll take you out to one of these um, car parks like here. These are probably rental cars here. They'll take you out to one of those car parks and you'll transfer into your rental car there. That's just something. So then you take this motorway, it's called um, Highway 20, um, and it, it goes into the middle of the city. Um, this is called uh, Mungary Bridge. And then... You, there's different ways you can get into the middle of the city just depending on how the traffic is but you can go up here and then drive somehow and when you get to the middle of the city there's some hotels here so if you take the bus you can take the bus all the way to the middle of the city you might um you might uh stay in anywhere around here there's sort of lots of hotels in there but um the the key key thing that orients you in Auckland so you don't get lost is the sky tower so that's just one of those it's a 300 meter tall what is that 900 feet tall thousand feet tall needle building um that uh has a has a casino that that building there's a casino hotel and convention center and stuff it, that that's there Okay, all that's boring. I don't, I don't care about those things. I don't go to casinos when I go to other countries. Um, so what I'm going to show you now is the actual things that are interesting to see. Um, so you can walk around. There's a couple of roads, but this this road here is called Queen Street. Here, I'll just align the city straight this way. This is like the, I don't know if you're from San Francisco, maybe it's the Market Road of uh, Auckland. Um, you've got... There's the AOT Square, which is like the... That's where you sometimes, I don't know, uh, something. You do stuff. Um, there's this thing that's that's a, that's an entertainment movie theatre complex. But this main road through here, this is called Queen Queen Street. Um, this this is where all, all the shops and stuff are in the middle of the city. They, it goes down. So... It's a pedestrian, you know, there's big wide foot paths. Um, and then the, um, the metro train station is this building. 
in in the middle of the city. So the the train station's underground. Um, they're building a metro loop around the Auckland CBD. It's probably nearly finished. It'll be finished in twenty twenty four or something for 25 i don't know what year uh these things always take longer it'll be finished in 2027 um but but the underground railway station is here currently and that takes you out so there's commuter railway tracks here um but in the middle of the city it, it's underground but anyway as you go let's get back on queen street again as you go down queen street you walk away all the way down to the bottom of queen street um you can uh, you get down here and there's the ferry terminals so the, the see this orange building here that's the old oh, the old-fashioned ferry terminal building it's got scaffolding around it in this view um, but you can get so these these ships here are ferries and they go out to islands and other peninsulas and so that's definitely something you might want to do is take a trip on a ferry and the the ferry trip I totally recommend is the one that I took hundreds and hundreds of times is to go across to Devonport because I lived in Devonport um, so I did the reverse uh, thing now that's the Devonport Navy base there and this is the Devonport ferry terminal here so if you're interested in uh, Navy stuff there's actually a Navy museum here somewhere I was going to put a pin on it for here um, it used to be this um, in this car park uh, at the back of the car park one of those buildings was the Navy Museum but it might be somewhere else now uh, you need to look that up if you're interested in that but there's there's the Navy there's the Navy base there so the the Navy base so this is all Navy base all the way all that stuff fine okay it's just I worked it there um, this is this is this is the ferry terminal um, so Devonport is a nice historical place so this is a place you go across here and go for lunch okay and and all of these um, buildings all all along here cafes and restaurants cafes and restaurants up, up the main road there's some cafes and restaurants there's a supermarket supermarket right there if you want to do a tour of a New Zealand supermarket there you go that's potentially New Zealand's most expensive supermarket because this is one of New Zealand's richest suburbs Let's put it that way, okay? Um, there's a nice park here. Okay, what you want to do is, this is for your walk, people who are into a bit of exercise and fitness, put on your walking shoes and um, take a walk up this mountain, okay? This mountain is, uh, what is it called? It's called Mount Victoria. It's called uh, Takaranga, okay? I don't know what that means. Um, but you get this view. So the, the whole point of this is, um, tour of views right uh, you get a view you get a view back across to the to the city uh, you get a view that's right there you go there's the middle of the city you get a view back across the city you can take a fantastic photo from up here um, you can probably see down here is the Auckland Harbour Bridge it goes across there um, and that that's that's a view now if you're feeling very exercisey then what you want to do is walk to this other hill here which is North Head. Uh, see, it says North Head there. Um, this is Department of Conservation. So this is um, this is a tiny little, I don't know, let's just call it, a, it's not a national park, it's a regional park. But this has got a fantastic view. Now, what you can see from here is you can see Rangitoto Island and some of the other islands. Oops, that, how, my view's going out of control there. There's Rangitoto Island. It's a conical volcano. All these hills are conical volcanoes, okay? These are old volcanoes that are all dormant now. That's the weird kind of volcanoes they are. Now, this is interesting if you're into historical military stuff. See these things here? These are gun emplacements and military bunkers, and you can walk through these. These tunnels, you can walk through some of them. Some of them, it's just open to the public. Some of it's closed off. But... If you're interested in that stuff, you can walk through them. There's some more down here. See how these big trenches, they've got fences around them. But you can walk into them and you can walk underneath inside the tunnels between those things. I find it very interesting. I used to uh, live there and I would, when I was being fit, I would go for an evening jog up, this, up these hills and sometimes... Uh, uh, run around I do I used to run around this hill every time that was part of my routine anyway um, so that's how I know to give you this there's a golf course here 
Okay, so so that's a trip over, over to Devonport is a is a trip on the ferry. The ferry's pretty cheap. I don't know what it costs. I don't, I don't remember what it costs. It's you know ten dollars or something like that. You can get a day. You can get a day ticket. In fact, um, that was the. I think that's what I used to do. You buy a day ticket, and it would be cheaper that way. Um, but also the you can get day tickets that incorporate buses. Never mind. Anyway, that's that. Now, if you're going to do something else, now if you if you go for the big thing, you can go across to Takapuna. Now, if you've got a car, you could drive to Takapuna. Um, there's a beach here if you just want to go to the beach. Uh, if it's summer, there's a nice beach. In New Zealand, you get terribly sunburned. Wear sunscreen. You you get sunburned much more in the southern hemisphere than in the northern hemisphere. If you're the kind of person who thinks you never you never get sunburned in the northern hemisphere, you'll get sunburned in the southern hemisphere. The sun is different here. Okay. Um, Takapuna. Um, so it's got this landmark building, which is a big apartment building. I don't know what it's called, but it's just something that you can see to navigate by. But here, this is another street of shops and cafes and restaurants, and there's just stuff here. There's a shopping mall here. These couple of buildings here are a shopping mall. Um, it's boring. Don't go to the shopping mall. But um, it, that that's just somewhere um, because because I lived <laughs> because I lived here. Uh, it was easy to go to. We'd often go to Takapuna and go out for brunch or something because I lived over here. Um, what else? Uh, if you have a car, you can drive out. If, if you'd like going to beaches and parks, you can go all the way down here. Um, where is this place? Long Bay. Down here, there's, this is a famous regional park beach, Long Bay Beach. But it's just a beach, okay? It's just a beach. Don't recommend going there. There's beaches and other places. Okay, back over on the city side. So that's that's the North Shore thing. Yeah. So if you want to go to these places, Devonport, just take the ferry across. Take the ferry from downtown, from that that orange building there. Well, it's it's these buildings here. That's the ferry terminal, and go across on the ferry. It's a 15 minute trip on the ferry. It's great. Okay. Now in the middle of the city, there's Albert Park. That's just a park if you want to get some fresh air because you've been on the plane. Um, and that's near the middle of the city and then there you can go across to the much better park now this is the park there's a big domain this is called the domain um, and it's just a giant park um, it has some formal gardens and stuff in it the the best one that I really like is the winter garden that it says it's temporarily closed at the moment the winter garden is giant Victorian greenhouses um, there's a there's like a tropical greenhouse and a dry climate greenhouse um, and the the heated um, and so you can go there if you go there on a weekday there won't be many people there um, there's a there's a like a reflection pond or duck pond not a duck pond a fish pond um, in the middle of the square between the things there's a fern and here there's a fern grove so like if you want to see what New Zealand native trees look like there you go there's a there's a fern grove garden in there um, this red roofed building is a cafe is a so see here there's um it's a cafe in a park now this is nice because there's no cars around here because it's I mean you can park your car here but people don't drive around here um, yeah there's there's car parks if you're driving there's there's um there's quite a lot of car parks all the way through here you can park in these areas and walk and so you're looking for the big greenhouses which you'll be able to see and that red roof building has got a cafe in it um, what else uh, there's the Dominion Auckland Dominion Museum. This has got the uh, military. This has got a lot of military history stuff in it, um, but also just the regional. It's the regional Auckland Museum. Um, I think you have to pay to go to this museum. I know that there's there's some weird thing where there is exceptions for not having to pay and i remember when i went there i was like they put up things to make you pay but you can actually just walk around them you don't have to pay that was at least that was 10 years ago i haven't been there for a long time but um there, there was some tricky way to get around it so if you're a backpacker they they 
I think there's some some way. Anyway, it's it's not a very big. It's not very expensive. It's not a big fee. That's what I was trying to say. Um, it's this thing here is like um, one of this is the regional war memorial. Um, so this is this is the like the war memorial museum something like that this what does it say it says auckland war memorial museum there we go see not kidding um these are cricket and soccer fields um so if you go there in the weekend um there will be people playing sports on those cricket or soccer fields uh it will be hard to get a car park because lots of people will be there in the weekend if you go on a weekday easy to get a car park you won't have any problems what else um just nearby there is uh, New Market. Now let's see if I can work out how this is. I always get this confused. Yeah, New Market is the uh, area here, this main road that goes along here. Um, there's uh, this is a big shopping center. There's the shopping. So the high high fashion shops are in this area, um, like a big international brands the same big international brands that you find in any city of the world so if you just came to Auckland and you wanted to buy the same sorts of things you can buy everywhere else in the world you can go here and go shopping there's some cafes and restaurants of course everywhere you go in New Zealand you can get good coffee if you go to a non-chain cafe go to something that's not in a chain you'll get a good cup of coffee all over the place um, I think there's a movie theater yeah there's the movie theater there um, there's a swimming pool. This is interesting. There's a movie theater up top and a swimming pool underneath. That's pretty cool. Um, that's a, that's a swimming pool. You can just buy a ticket and go. Um, you don't have to be a member. Um, what else? So so that's that's new market. There's a bit over here called Parnell somewhere. I always get this confused. Let's see. Is it these road? It might be. That looks like a big road. No, I'm a little confused. How I'm mis I'm disoriented. That's funny how you just drive and you know the way around. Oh yeah, there's a rose garden down there. Anyway, that's all of that's that's gets too far to walk. You can if you're if you're good at walking and you're just fit, you can walk across the city, walk through the domain, go to the museum, go to the winter garden and walk back to the city. Like if you if you needed a good like uh, six kilometer walk um, for exercise reasons because you've just got off the plane or you know you're getting used to the thing, that's cool. Um, so that's stuff that's fun to do in the middle of the city. Um, the Auckland Harbour Bridge is over there, just helps you, or, or it's a big bridge and you can see it from anywhere, you can see the sea basically, because it's pretty tall. Um, and then, uh, what else? Uh, one other thing to do, now you'd probably want to rent a bike or catch the bus. So there's, there's some good handy bus routes that just go along the waterfront along here. So, so from that ferry terminal, see, because the rail, the underground railway stations around here, there's all sorts of bus stops around here. So here, these are bus stops on top of the railway terminal around, around in there. You can catch a bus that goes out to uh, uh, Mission Bay. So this is really nice. It's all along this road here. It's all along the 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 waterfront, along the beachfront. There's a there's um, Oreki. That's actually a beach. That's actually an incredibly safe beach because it's actually quite enclosed. Um, so that's that's a kind of a beach that you could um, take kids to. But this beach, like it's it's very uncommercial. See, there's nothing here. There's just uh, toilets and showers and nothing. There's no shops or anything there. That's good if you like things to be not commercial. And then here is um, Kelly Tarleton's Underwater. There's an aquarium. So all the aquarium is underground here. It's all underground. It's in big water tanks under the ground. Uh, that's where the, uh, yeah, in here. See here? Sea life, it's called Kelly Tarleton. See, it's a, the whole aquarium. It's giant, but you can't see anything. It's all underground. There's a big picture of a shark on a billboard there, right? So you can know. There's the car park, but you can walk or take the bus there. And... Uh, what's that called? There's these. Um, this is a big park as well, um, Bastion Point Park. There's another beautiful garden up here. So this is like one of those formal 
super formal gardens, like if you like taking photos in very formal gardens. This is a 1930s style um, formal garden. That's quite cool. I've taken photos up there. Um, and then this place here is Mission Bay. So if you just stay on the bus and just keep going, there's a bridge there. Like if you go to Mission Bay, you can walk across that bridge and walk up the hill to Bastion Point and go up to the garden. So if you get off the bus in Mission Bay, there's this fountain here. In the in the summer on uh, weekends, this park is really packed. There's a really nice beach here. It's a, it's a big beach. Um, so this is the beach park where people in the city go to the beach. And this is all cafes and restaurants and fancy ice cream shops. Um, look at those um, fancy, fancy terraced hanging garden um, uh, apartment buildings. Um, got the tennis club. Like so this is ultra middle class, uh, ultra middle class suburb here. Um, yeah, lots of cafes and restaurants and pubs um, all, all along through there. So that's another thing I recommend. And uh, there's uh yeah the yeah these beaches and bays just go on this area is called saint heliers at saint heliers saint heliers has the same thing more cafes and restaurants and uh, stuff there um but the mission mission bay is the is the, is the uh is the quite big one there yeah there you go it's got a, this cool fountain anyway yeah so that's sort of my tour of things that you want to look at in the middle of auckland um so We'll just I'll just do a summary. Um, since it's all around this area, you can go across on the ferry across to Devonport. You can do a walking around there. You could you could spend all day walking around there, or or three hours. You know, two three hours walking around, going to a cafe, have an hour for lunch or whatever there. You can you can have you can have half a day. Um, walking from the central city, if you're if you're in a hotel in the central city, you can just walk up here. Um, just don't don't do this walk at night time. Like don't don't stay late. You want to be back at back in your hotel. Um, you don't want to be walking around there at night. I mean, take a taxi if you stay late. Um, there's the it's Auckland's got the same problems with the middles of giant cities as all of the other Western countries have with the same problems with the giants of middle cities. There's lots of homeless people and um, weird stuff. Not very. We don't have a lot in personal crime, but uh, just that. Yeah, it's not. It's not nice. I hate. I hate living in Auckland now. I, I don't do anything in the middle of the city in Auckland. I don't live in Auckland. I've. I live far far away um yeah uh yeah so it's a walking if, if you're fit in walking walking to the uh the M war memorial museum and the winter garden that's a good walk walking around the waterfront oh yeah i, do, I missed one more thing down on this is called Wynyard quarter so if you if you walk down queen street or any of these say you stay in the uh, sky city hotel you just walk straight downhill to the waterfront you can walk across here there's a pedestrian bridge see here there's a cycle lane that's i think that's an opening bridge i'm not sure one of these ones i thought that one of these was an opening bridge maybe it's not anymore is the viaduct basin you can walk all around here this is all nice there's cafes and restaurants and stuff squares and stuff all, all the way down here fancy fancy yachts and stuff this is all pedestrianized there's outdoor there's outdoor spaces here for people to hang out so, so there's like just parks parks and stuff with furniture in it like this is brightly colored lawn furniture there what does that say to Wero island is that, oh, i don't know i don't know what that means um yeah and it, and this is all cafe cafes and restaurants along along this key kind of thing here uh, there's a tramway there's a historical tramway in here as well there's things like the fish market or whatever i don't know who cares I, I don't know why people go to fish markets when they're on holidays i've been to fish markets in other countries i don't know why i go um but yeah so here's the trams weirdly in 3d there's the old historical electric trams um there's parking um there's this interesting scaffold thing here um, this is like an industrial park. You can climb up the scaffold. It's it's designed. It's like a, I don't know. It's an odd. Uh, it's an industrial park. So this used to be like the tank farm, where all the oil and 
gas and uh, grains and cement and stuff come in. There's a that's a super yacht. Whoa. Um, yeah, that that's this area here. It's called Wynyard Quarter Play Space. Um, yeah, so that, again, cafes, restaurants. This is a place to walk and ride a bike, ride scooters. Of course, you could do all that stuff on scooters or rental bikes um, going to all of these places. So, yeah, anyway, that's that's the that's the kind of fun part of, yeah, so you can just go along here over that bridge. You can walk around. There's, like, nice, look, it's, it's all nice paving and stuff all the way around um, there. These are all apartment buildings. Um, some of them might be hotels, but um, the they're mostly apartment buildings for people living down in the middle of the city. There we go. So that that's my tour of Auckland. So there we go. I'll put it back north up because it makes the most sense, I think. Yeah, that's stuff to do in the middle of Auckland. There we go. That's that's my video. It's just a, something for tourists. That's the stuff that I like. The places where I like to go and um, I like to take photos I like to take photos from the tops of the hills I like to take photos in the in the uh, parks and gardens yeah okay I hope you enjoyed that that's the end of the video like and subscribe or something